Well, it's a good thing that um, Tom Price is not going to be flaunting his own Obamacare uh, replacement plan. And it's a good thing that he's supposedly been sequestered from hearing what the Trump organization plan is. <laughs> the Trump organization. <laughs> I mean, that's all right. That's it. Chalk it. That's definitely the future name of the cabinet and administration. Hey, the Trump, the Trump organization. Organi the Trump organization announced today a new foreign policy right. initiative. Well, it's a good thing because um, we're going to want time during the hearings for Tom Price to talk about how this guy thought he could get away with insider trading and violations of the congressionally passed Disclose Act. Um, here is a CNN report that will catch you up on this. Now, ethics experts tell me that this particular case raises insider trading concerns, and that's because Congressman Price purchased stock as much as $15,000 in one major medical device maker, Zimmer Biomed, and that would have been hurt by a federal rule affecting hip and knee implant manufacturers like Zimmer Biomet. And Aaron, less than a week after purchasing that stock, Price offered legislation that would have helped Zimmer Biomet by delaying that federal rule until 2018. Now, the Price official who says that the congressman views his efforts to uphold the public trust very seriously did not respond directly, as you noted, uh, Aaron. But Price has promised to divest from 43 companies that could present a conflict of interest if he's confirmed as the head of Health and Human Services. And interestingly, Aaron, one of those companies is Zimmer Biomed, but he did not do that when he was a member. Uh -huh. of pause it, pause it. So in other words, he's going to divest from the company that he already made a chunk of change from in promoting a rule that would, a law that would help his company. I don't want to flaunt that, Mr. Uh, Chairman. I'd rather not flaunt that. My stock picking expertise. I feel like it just gets really kind of arrogant, frankly, if I say that as an example. I am a genius at selecting medical stock. Um, <clears throat> Recall that in 2012, the Stock Act was passed, which was um, supposedly to fight members of Congress uh, trading stock based on intelligence gleaned from the legislative process. Well, two weeks ago, I had no idea that this I didn't glean it. Up here. I didn't glean it. I created it. <laughs> Rather big difference. I think so. <laughs> Zimmer Biomed, but he did not do that when he was a member huh. of Congress. Which, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing when you think about it, Manu. And, and as you lay out mm, this example, is. this is not the first time, right, that, that Price actually did this. Traded stock in companies at the same time that he was actually going ahead with legislation that would directly affect those companies' profits. Yeah, that's right. The Wall Street Journal reported last month that, the, that Price actually traded more than $300,000 worth of stock in health companies over the past four years while working on legislation, some of the bills affecting those companies. Do, well, do, uh, do. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair to myself, I didn't realize it applied to day trading. <laughs> okay? Because uh, I thought it was long term profits. See, what I do is go and pump and dump. So I don't want to flaunt anything. Those are completely different areas of concern, Mr. Chairman. I feel like if I had, in some fashion, predicted a rise of stocks instead of used the legislative process as a way of creating it, that's something I'd want to flaunt. Because that would be like, wow, you seem to really have... But you just, what I you did conjured this whole <laughs> windfall for yourself, sir. <laughs> From my perspective, it's just like saying like, oh... I'm not predicting that this bookshelf will fall over. I'm just pushing it over. Yeah, I was giving it a nice push. I'm doing what anybody could do. I'm not saying that these breast implant manufacturers are going to get a killing when we eliminate liabilities on the silicon exploding in women's chests. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty direct. 
And if my little E-Trade account had an automatic sell when the stock hit a certain point, what am I going to do? I'm not good with computers. Man, I can't I'm go not in and turn it off. Thank them algorithm, gentlemen. Probably the Russians. Am I right? <laughs> Too <Yeah>. soon? <laughs> Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, so over. Subscri subscribe.